Hello and welcome to Juniper Learning Bytes. My name is Tony Cooper. I'm an instructor with Juniper Education Services and today we're going to talk about route preferences. Route preferences are used to differentiate the same route or prefix number learned via multiple routing protocols for selection as the active route. You might also recognize this as administrative distance in other vendors. Route preferences only have local significance to the router for selecting the active route. Preferent values are automatically assigned by the routing process and it's the primary criteria by which a router installs the active route when, two, when the same route is learned via multiple routing protocols. The lower the preference or the lower the value, the higher the preference for the route. You can observe the preference value via the show route. And in this case, we're learning 10.1.1.0 slash 24 via two different routing protocols, static as well as OSPF. Notice that static has a default preference value of 5 while OSPF has a preference value of 10. Static, the preference value of 5 being preferred will be installed as the active route as noted by the asterisk. You can modify route preferences if necessary, and we'll talk about a couple of use cases here in a, in a slide, in the next slide, um, to make a route either more preferred or less preferred. The exception of this rule is direct and local routes, which can't be modified. They will always remain zero. How would you modify the route preference? In this example, we're, we're modifying it for RIP, the routing information protocol. You would modify it under any one of these four stanzas. Most commonly, you would do it under edit protocols, RIP, group, and then the group name. Modify the preference value. The default of 100, you can modify it from 0 to 4 billion. And again, the lower the value, the more preferred the route. Why would we want to modify the route preference? Well, there's a couple of use cases here. If we're doing an IGP protocol migration, for instance, if we are running a classful protocol such as RIP and we want to migrate to OSPF, you may want to deploy your OSPF routing first and validate that routing and make sure all of the information is in your OSPF domain before switching off RIP. In other words, you would prefer modify the RIP preference value lower than OSPF, maintain your RIP infrastructure, validate your OSPF infrastructure, and then switch off RIP. You also might want to have a, a consistent behavior with regards to route selection in a multi-vendor environment. Sometimes this is important, uh, particularly uh, Different vendors generally have different values associated and it affects the route selection behavior associated with, uh, with, with the route. For instance, Junos uses, if we go back a couple of slides, Junos uses for both eBGP and iBGP a default preference value of 170. Multiple vendors will assign a preference value for eBGP-derived routes and iBGP-derived routes. And if you're concerned about route selection behavior being consistent in a multi-vendor environment, you may want to change these. There are several places where we talk about um, modifying a route preference value. One book that I would highly recommend is Network Mergers and Migrations. Um, it has some very classic uh, examples of modifying the route preference when we're talking about uh, mergers and migrations and that sort of thing. We also have a very good 
day one book, Migrating EIGRP to OSPF, that's available on our website. It's a classic example of IGP protocol migration. And of course, we have a lot of resources on our documentation website and several classes that talk about route preference, and Junos routing essentials, as well as Junos intermediate routing. Both of those classes are very good, and we talk about uh, route preference as well as other uh, uh, routing mechanisms and routing protocols. I hope you found this useful, and uh, please feel free to visit us anytime. Thanks. Bye. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.